The story begins with Speed Racer, who is a young man with natural racing instincts, whose goal is to win the Crucible. Hello everyone, welcome to another review, and it's on the movie Speed Racer. The actors that are playing this are Alistair Mazzotti, Anatole Tobman, Ariel Winter, Art Lafleur, Ashley Waters, Ben Miles, Benno Farman, no, Benno Foreman, sorry everyone, Kristen Oliver, Christina Ricci, Clayton Nemwell, Cohen Orr, Cosma Shiva Hagen, Emil Horst, Frank Whittle, Harvey Friedman, Hiroyuki Sanada, Jenna Palask, Jens Newhouse, John Bofield, John Goodman, Jonathan Kinslow, Julie Wallace, Kick Goey, Mark Zack, Matthew Fox, Matthias Wed Matthias Widowhammer, Megan Gay, Melville Poupode, Moritz Bleep Two, Oscar Oscar Ortega, Oscar Ortega Sanchez, sorry, Peter Fernandez, Peter Navy, Peter Navy Twas so Sopo. It's really hard to say, everyone. Hopefully I got that right. Wayne. Ralph Hoforth. Ramon Tikarama. Richard Roundtree. Ricky Watson. Roger Alfam. Yeah, Alfam. Scott Porto. Stephen Marcus. Susan Sarandon. Togo Igawa, Vincent Kiefer, Watermore Corbis, Ronald Dunn, and Willie. Oh, wait. Now, my thoughts on the movie. Um, before I get to my thoughts, I do have to say one thing. This movie was based off of. I forget the exact deal, but off of, back then it was known as cartoon, nowadays it's known as an anime TV show that was called Speed Racer, back from the 1970s. Back then, a lot of people don't get this. Back then, cartoons were just known as cartoons. In the late 80s to mid 90s, it got split into two categories. Anime, animation. Anime is done by hand. Animation is done by computers. That's that's what people don't get. And a lot of times, people call animation anime. When really, it's not anime. Yeah. Reason why a lot of the anime stuff comes from Japan, or used to, because. If they don't believe in using computers in Japan. They really don't when it comes to cartoons. So they do it by hand, which is, so by hand, anime. Okay, um, I just had to get that off my chest. But yeah, this is based on the anime show back from the 1970s. Uh, I was a big fan, big fan, but however, that, that was a bit before my time. But they, back, back when I was younger, when I was a kid, it would be like 1988, 89, they kept playing repeats of older cartoon shows. Yeah, anime shows, animation shows. And uh, so I got a chance to uh, watch, watch the TV show. And the TV show was awesome. 
It really was. The movie... I gotta say, the movie is not the same as the t as a TV show. It really isn't. Um, the TV show was was a better was a better one because the TV show was just well done. This one, don't get me wrong, it's a it's actually a very good movie, a very good movie. Um, the premise, the story of the movie, is actually pretty awesome. The acting, overall, everyone did. <clears throat> it's hard to, to kind of put this into two different categories. There were some actors that did a very good job, other actors, not so much. And because of that, there wasn't many scenes like this, but there were some scenes. They were just awkward, if you will. Yeah, because they really aren't that great of an actor. But uh, John Goodman delivers, Susan Sarandon delivers whenever they were in. They did a fantastic job. I find they were like one of the better ones. One of the better ones in this movie. Um... There were some other actors that, that actually did a really good job than other actors that did such a crappy job. But what made this movie was the premise of, of the story which they took from, of course, the TV show, the cartoon, the cartoon slash anime TV show from back in the day. Uh, graphics wise, I find how how should I put this? Graf ahead of its time. Uh, it it feels like the graphics. This is a movie that shouldn't have been done yet, uh, but. Back in 2008, they might have been able to do it better this day because back in 2008, the graphics, most of the times, the graphics were very nice looking, but at times it was like it, it looked so fake. The graphics just looked so fake. And I think that's what put me off as well at points in this movie. Yeah. Um. I don't mean to slam this movie because it it's still a, a really good movie, a very good movie. But the I had to point out some of the mistakes, some of the stuff that they didn't do an awesome job with. Um, I'm not even going to talk about the soundtrack. The soundtrack was just god awful. It the the soundtrack, nah. Uh, I was paying attention, and it really sounded off throughout the movie. That's where it puts the movie to shame, because when you look back at the cartoon, that anime show of Speedway Soul, the music was awesome. It really was. But the music, the soundtrack, and this, it was crap. There was some annoying uh, soundtrack. There was some annoying music in the background in this. There really was, and that wasn't right. Putting everything into putting everything into perspective, what rating would I give this movie? Despite its flaws, I still find it's a very good movie. I'd have to say a 4 out of 5. A 4 out of 5. Yeah, that's what I'm sticking with. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. If you loved the movie or didn't love the movie, you could let me know in the comment section. As always, tell me your shots. You can like my video if you very much enjoyed this review. And you can also subscribe to my channel. 
So the figure will take your time to watch. Stay tuned for another review I tend to do soon. I am out.